So I am going to prep my chicken for the week. I'm all out. And so I'm gonna take you through that process. But I'm gonna do something a little bit different today because I have a seasoning or a marinade that I've never tried before. And I don't like to season my whole week prep chicken in one seasoning because then you can't change it up. And everyone always says, you know, chicken's really boring. You have to stick with the same recipe. So I'll show you what I season my week prepped chicken with, but I'm going to pull out a couple chicken breast and I'm going to put this on it. This is um, from G Hughes. Now this company also makes some um, sugar-free barbecue sauce that's really good. So if you can find this brand in your grocery store, you're welcome. All right, so this one is lemon herb marinated. I love lemon. So I'm going to marinate a couple chicken breasts and I think I'll turn this with, you know, just like a grilled chicken with some zucchini and rice. So that will be a really good healthy meal. So I'm gonna separate that out. Then I'm going to put the rest of my chicken in my Instapot. It makes shredded chicken and I season it with just an all purpose seasoning. I happen to have this one in my pantry and so I've been using this a lot lately. I think I really like it too with a couple little cubes of bouillon. Just gives it a little bit more extra chicken flavor because it sits in the fridge and sometimes it can quickly become blah. So with these two in the Instapot, it tends to last a little bit longer. I can endure the taste of that chicken throughout the week. I always get asked, how big of chicken do I buy? This is my chicken that I purchase all the time. This is 6.38 pounds. Um, so this one looks like they're a little bit bigger chicken breasts. So they come with, looks like seven in here, but it just varies. Sometimes they're not as big, sometimes they're bigger, whatever. I'm gonna put a couple of these chicken breasts in a Ziploc with the marinade and then I'll put the rest in the Instapot. So let me walk you through that. You know, funny story is I actually have a client who doesn't like to eat chicken and she doesn't like to eat it because she hates touching it. That's simply it. She doesn't mind the flavor of it. She doesn't, it's not a texture thing. She absolutely hates touching chicken, which kind of don't blame her. So I'm not going to either. I'm just going to stab a chicken breast with a fork and put it in the bag. And it's funny, she like, I've asked her too. I was like, why don't you just use a fork? You don't have to touch it. <laughs> like, no, this whole part would gross her out so bad. It's really funny. Okay, I think I'm gonna just do two because I haven't had that seasoning before. So I don't know if I love it. I'm going to have this for maybe a lunch tomorrow. It's a little bit lighter. I don't like to have chicken for dinner. That's another tip really quick. If you get sick of chicken, don't have chicken for dinner if you have it throughout the day. My dinners are usually my red meats because I eat chicken all the time for lunch. So I won't have it for dinner. So I got my Instapot. Sometimes I'll spray this. If you have a hard time cleaning your Instapot, put some like Pam spray in it and that kind of helps. But immediately when you take anything out of it, soak it and then that way you don't have to worry about it. Okay, heavy with the seasoning. Now, so far, one, two, three, four, five, six, yes, I have six really large chicken breasts that are going in here, and I'm not gonna lightly season it. You wanna heavily season it. Be generous, all right? So dump that in, and I, I do layer it, so you notice I stopped. I have now two more, so then I'll put two more. I just drip chicken juice everywhere. Going to sanitize my, my kitchen afterwards too. Okay, and then I'm gonna put some more in here. Cause these are really big. I think I'll do two cubes of bouillon. <laughs> Nothing fancy with this. So you have to put water when you cook this. I will just smash this up and put it in there. Guys, I am not a gourmet cook. I hope you didn't come to this video thinking that I'm gonna make a lavish, like I'm all about simplicity and healthy and easy because fitness is eating healthy and fitness, it's overwhelming. The cooking don't add to it. So I literally smash this between my fingers and then I just spread that around. 
And then I'm gonna do the second one. Okay, read your Instapot instructions. Um, it tells you how long to do the chicken for depending on how many you have in there. In the Instapot, it just kind of sits in its own juice. I don't think it overcooks it too much, except for last week. I think I did like 21 minutes last week and it was a little too dry, a little, I don't know if I put enough water in or what, but. So I think I'm gonna just do 20 minutes. And it also tells you how much water to put in. I usually end up putting like a cup with that many chicken broth. Okay. Then I will close the lid, start it for 20 minutes. I'm gonna dump this on my two unseasoned chicken breasts and then that'll be it. A couple other seasonings, if you're trying to spice up your healthy food and you're getting sick of it, Mrs. Dash is a very, very popular season. This is a salt free. Now, I don't want you to think that salt is completely terrible. If you're eating a lot of processed food, then yes, you shouldn't really salt a lot of your other food. But if you're eating really healthy, a lot of natural foods, proteins that are not processed, uh, vegetables, then you can definitely add salt, all right? Sodium is good for your body. So um, this is just good to season it with the fun seasoning, like this one's Fiesta Lime. And then of course you can feel free to salt your food. I do have a little bit of chicken in here left over. It's, like I said, it was kind of dry, so I'm kind of over it. It's not very good. I'm like choking it down at this point. So I'm gonna toss it. But this large tub of wear, is what sits in my fridge. Once this chicken is done, I'm gonna store this in my fridge and then that way, whenever I need a healthy meal, I just pull some out of it. I make tacos, I put it on a salad, I put it with rice and vegetables, anything. And it's that generic all-purpose seasoning so I can turn it into whatever I want it to be. All right, so here's the big secret. So I just shredded all my chicken with my meat claws. If you haven't seen me use these, check out my YouTube video on meat claws. So all shredded in my tubware that I'm gonna store in my fridge. But to keep it moist and yummy all week, you need to cover it with the juices. Okay, so a couple little tricks to make your eating healthy easier and I am going to get this going. All right, hope that helps. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you really like this cooking instructions. I also have a ton of exercises, so make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I hope to see you back.